Hey everybody, welcome to Lighthouse Learning and today I'm going to share with you how I scored 171 in NEET 2020 chemistry. So if I can do it, definitely you too can. So let me share my strategies which I uh, employed for uh, scoring 171 in NEET chemistry. Starting off with the first one, uh, NCRD theory. So for physical chemistry, uh, for class 11 and all, uh, like states of matter and all those lessons, NCRT uh, you need not study at that much depth, okay. But for inorganic chemistry, uh, you know, you should study just like biology word by word in depth. Each and every uh, word is important, just underline and highlight every word, okay. And for organic chemistry, uh, especially for class 12, even class 11, you should study line by line. Uh, some people like in class 11, uh, in, organic, uh, in, in class 11 organic chemistry, they tend to ignore the purification uh, methods and that carbon dioxide, ammonia, all those principles and techniques uh, which are given in the some basic organic chemistry lesson, they ignore it. Uh, you should not do that at sublimation, crystallization, everything is really important. Alright, so even organic you should study NCRT line by line, along with it you should solve problems from other books, okay, and previous year questions, okay. Moving on to the next which is NCRT in-text and book pack questions. So a lot of people tend to ignore the NCRT in-text questions which are given in that pink color box in class 11 textbooks. So those are really important whether you study or not the uh, text, like line by line, whether you, so these can easily fetch you marks. So uh, definitely you should study those pink boxes even in class 12 you will have uh, in-text questions uh, with answers and those there are some questions which you will have to find answer for just get a book of NCRD solution book is must okay whether you prepare for boards or not that is a must and write it down uh, like find the answers for that and those are very important but most people tend to ignore that all right moving on to the next thing which is the book back questions uh, so I would like to specially emphasize on physical chemistry book back questions because uh, for example in a lesson like solution for a lesson like solution NCRT book back question has got a you know a whole lot of different uh, problems there there are a lot of different models so I just want you to try uh, solving all that and write down the methods in your short notes or whatever and revise it before the exams. Coming to inorganic chemistry, uh, you have um, in-text questions here, yeah, those pink color boxes as I had told you, those are very very important. And for organic also, uh, in-text questions are really important. They are very simple but yeah, you should study them because I have seen direct questions being asked from the pink color boxes. A lot of questions, not just one or two. So moving on to the next, we have NCRT exemplar problems. So these problems are based uh, wholly on NCRT and you could just use it as a tool to check how much thorough you are with NCRT. Uh, so it has got a lot of tricky questions from you know uh, from each nook and corner of the book you will find a lot of questions. So I will strongly suggest you to solve that book. So once you are done with NCRT uh, you should go with this book. Uh, you know, the next go-to should be NCRT exemplar. Then go for any coaching module or extra books. Because uh, NCRT exemplar is just a part of NCRT. So, you cannot, um, you, you cannot uh, leave NCRT incomplete without, uh, without solving these problems. Okay. And if you find any different uh, problem, like different concept, just include, uh, include the solution of that problem in your NCRT textbook itself. Okay. Uh, for physical chemistry, uh, solve the MCQ part alone because it's really time consuming. Otherwise, for inorganic and organic, uh, solve everything, okay? Very short answers, short answers, everything. Alright, moving on to the next, we have previous year questions. So, I solved uh, chapter-wise questions of MTG past 32 years paper. So, like, there were questions from 19, 1990s, I guess. Um, so, I highlighted, like... I was thorough with the 32 years paper so I highlighted those questions uh, which I was not which was out of NCRT and which I was not able to answer and before exam just revise those questions especially for inorganic sometimes what happens actually NCRT is sufficient like it's more than enough uh, but sometimes what happens is 
I've seen in previous year questions that a uh, few questions are being asked out of NCRT. So what I did, I didn't just I didn't go for any other book uh, for theory. All I did was uh, I stuck to NCRT theory and solved the previous year extra question the questions which are out of NCRT. I just remembered those answers. All right. So I suggest you to uh, you to do that you to do the same. So moving on to the next, we have the J. So solving JE questions was very useful uh, as it helped me to study NCRT in a better way. Uh, in the sense that uh, in JE, what happened, like in NEET, you'll have some direct uh, direct questions, okay? Just directly from the line they'll ask you. But in JE, they ask you, uh, you know, this from the same line, they ask you in a different way. So they, uh, they like, so they help you to um, understand NCRT in, in a different way. So that was really helpful for me. So uh, JE mains level is like enough for your need preparation. If you're like able to solve every question of JE mains chemistry, uh, then you'll be like easily, uh, you'll go through the need chemistry also. But JE advanced, uh, you need not go to that level. JE mains is enough. Especially be thorough with the NT NTA past two years questions of JE mains. Uh, that will help you to solve uh, NEET as well, NEET chemistry as well. So yes, uh, JE questions are really important. Moving on to the next, like you can have this JE question uh, after you're done with the previous year questions of NEET rather than going for any other book, uh, any other MCQ book, buying new books, you can go with the NTA questions itself so that it will help you to explore the uh, pattern in which the NTA uh, team asks you. Okay, so after like rather than going for any other MCQ book like NFST and all, you can go with JE questions. That is what I would suggest you. So moving on to the next, uh, the next thing is mock tests. So giving a lot of mock tests for chemistry is really important for your time management. So you should just try and complete because chemistry is, you know, it's it highly saves your time. Uh, physics is a lot of uh, you know, it consumes a lot of time, but chemistry is a time saver. So I just want you to practice and try and complete the chemistry paper within 30 minutes. For that, you just give a lot of mock tests because giving mock tests uh, not only helps you to overcome these silly mistakes and callous mistakes, it also helps you to uh, helps you to manage time efficiently. So give a lot of mock tests, analyze the paper and... Analy analyzing it is really important. Sometimes in organic chemistry, you make a lot of mistakes, right? Uh, those mistakes, just write it down in, in your mistake diary and give time. And before exam, just revise and uh, ensure that the same mistake doesn't happen again. All right. So these were my uh, six. Um, these were the six things which I uh, did for scoring 171 in NEET 2020 chemistry. All right. So thank you. And do like, share and subscribe as it means a lot to me. And do comment in the comment box. And thank you. Thanks for watching.